These are the most comfortable Joy-Cons for the Nintendo Switch that you can get today. I don't care if you're talking about the mobile pads, anything else we've taken a look at on this channel or anybody else has seen, these are the most comfortable, but are they the best? That is what we're gonna look at today. Do these have any problems? These are the new big Joy-Cons from Binbok. I guess technically they're branded as Duyoki or however you say that, but they are from Binbok. I've had these for about two weeks. I've been using them. I really like them. They've got a few problems. We're gonna talk about them right now. What's up guys, welcome back or welcome for the first time to me a favor. If you're new here, jump down to the description of this video. There's a link over there to our podcast channel. We do one of those every single Wednesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern, live over there. If you miss it, you can see all of the uh, past episodes, future episodes, all on the podcast platforms of your choice. Let's get right into this. These are so comfortable. The size of them, they are big. I'm gonna just show you side by side here. I'll have other B-roll for you to see, but side by side you can see they are they are much bigger than the MOBA pads, and the MOBA pads are very comfortable. They uh they 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 feel really good in your hand, but these these have a ton to hold on to. They feel like an actual controller. They are the most comfortable ones that I've found so far. I wanted to get a few more out here for comparison. Now here is the QRDs. These are good. I think these are what the T5s. I think that's what they're called. They're pretty good. Not quite as big. Not quite as much to hold on to. These, these are okay. Uh, the Nixies, also kind of the same thing. Basically the same size as these, the QRDs, a little bit bigger. These ones are, they are massive, and they still look really good on the side of the Switch. That's one thing I always talk about with these big Joy-Cons. Do they look good on the Switch? Do they look like they're supposed to be there? Do they have any overhang? And these do not. Not on either side. They bring it back down small on both sides, the back and the front, so they fit flush. They look great. These are probably the best ones that I think Binbok has made as far as looking visually nice as well. I really do like the uh, the uh, LEDs, the RGB lights, they look nice. So when Binbok was working on these, they actually showed me uh, that really nice controller we did a video on. I'll link that at the end if you want to check that out. But they showed me that then too, the mock-ups for that. But they also showed me at that point the mock-ups for these and they look Basically the same as what they showed me, but I want to tell you guys what I really like about these things first There are a few things that I see other companies fixing and Binbok is not fixing this on most of their stuff And they really need to do this. It's, just, it's one small thing. They just need to do it But what I do like about these other than the lights, I think the lights look great They are rubber all the way around the back here from the edge of the LED all the way to this little area right here They are rubber so they feel really nice in your hand. It's not it's not like a smushy rubber It's kind of like a like a rubberized coating, but they feel good. There's an extra button on the back. You know, if you want that, it's there. I don't really use it. They do have Hall Effect sticks, if you're wondering. They got all that. The buttons, the ABXY, they feel fine. Nothing nothing special. I feel like that's one place that, that Binbok either does really well with, or, or they just kind of, it is what it is. It's not great, but they're getting better. These are way better than like the original ones, that's for sure. Way nicer than that. They're kind of smushy, a little bit clicky, nothing, nothing crazy either way. Kind of in the middle, not bad. They do come with three sets of sticks. You've got the regular ones that are on there now, and then you've got a taller set if you want to have a little bit more precision. And then they, they put a set of the little nubs, like the GameCube nubs, and I don't know why. I have no idea why they do that. If somebody out there is using those, tell me in the comments, like, why? What's the advantage? Why do you use them? Why do you like them? I don't think anybody's gonna comment. I don't think anybody's using them. I don't think they should put those in there. They do, if you want them. They are in there, you've got one for each side, they have uh, matching sets for each side, some controllers don't do that for some reason, so that is nice. They have a pretty long battery life, I don't know exactly how long, but I've been using them off the Switch for a while, I don't know why I've gone back to Animal Crossing, but I've been using them just sitting and, and using them kind of like uh, separate from each other, because like I said, they're, they're so comfortable, you can see just the way they sit in your hand, it just, they are perfect. The, the shape is just, they are great. The D-pad, is a D-pad, it's it's clicky, uh, it's it's not the greatest, this is definitely not one of those sets of Joy-Cons you're gonna buy for the D-pad. It does what it needs to do, it's not amazing, but it's fine. They are wireless, you can charge them USB-C on the bottom here. The center thing it comes with does have a USB-C port, so they will charge out of one cable if you want them to, that is great. I'm so glad to see that they included that. They've got adjustable rumble with their own buttons right there on the front. They've got a bunch of buttons on the front. They've got the M button, which is the set these buttons on the back. They also have an extra button up here on the top. I forgot to tell you guys about that. There's an extra button. There's a third one up here by the R and ZR 
and uh, L and ZO. The thing I liked about their other controller that they had those on was these buttons. The uh, the ZR and the ZL were not clicky. They were just kind of regular, regular trigger buttons, which you don't really need for the Nintendo Switch. The Switch doesn't recognize analog triggers, so you don't really need them. But it was nice to have those extra ones that were clicky in case you were playing something like a first person shooter. You could set those to the same buttons and have a quick, quick trigger. But these ones are actually, these ones are actually like mouse buttons. So th these are really nice. I really like these. I did try Fortnite with these. The sticks are nice. You know, these are very responsive, so that's good. All of them up there are really clicky. These ones, especially, the triggers are way more clicky than the uh, R and L buttons. You can hear a difference here. So overall, I am really happy with all the buttons. I would say, as far as any downfalls, it's probably the D-pad again. It's not great. I do really like the finish on these two. I meant to talk about that when I was talking about the uh, the color, but the finish on these is like this matte black, and it almost looks like it's a gunmetal against that rubberized coating on the outside. It looks really, really good. These these are really good looking Joy Cons. Not only are they comfortable, they look great. I've said that a thousand times already, but they really do look good. They feel good. A lot of times with these type of things, I have a problem with them being really light. They are not really light. They are they feel substantial. So even off the switch, they feel good. They add nice weight to the switch it doesn't feel like they're they're too light or cheap uh, there's not a lot of stuff rattling around they're pretty quiet these things are great honestly I'm gonna put the price up right here because I don't have it in front of me right now but for what they are I know the price is at least reasonable I just can't remember exactly what it is right now I do know it's reasonable for what they are I can recommend these things there is one problem actually there are two problems two very slight problems I want to talk about one of them is not that big of a deal but the other there's a solution to, and everybody else is starting to do it. Binbok, you gotta do this too. The first one is they are slightly loose on the rails. It's not anything crazy, and you don't even really notice it when you're playing. If you're just sitting here, you know, playing your Switch, it's not something you notice, but if you're just holding it, it does have a little bit of a shake, and that does, it does bother me a little bit. That's the one thing I do love about the MOBA pads. They go on, uh, they don't really fall into place. You kind of got to push them in there. I mean, they are solid. I do love that about the MOBA pads. That is the one thing that these are kind of lacking in a little bit. I don't know how to fix that, though. It's just weird because the tolerances are so close there. I don't, I mean, I guess they could just move in the rail just a little bit. I don't, I don't know how you fix that. But that's the one thing. But the other thing is the sticks, not the Hall Effect sensors. Those are fine, obviously. But it's what they use for the materials on the sticks. As you can see here, the Nixies, they've got a metal ring right here. They've got a metal ring right there. The MOBA pads, metal ring right there. These are plastic, and they're on plastic. So plastic on plastic, it starts to wear away, and it just kind of builds up like a dust of plastic in there, and you can feel it. It's not crunchy, it's not as smooth, and it does bother me a little bit. I wish they would just put metal rings like, all they gotta do is put a little metal ring right there and it would fix that problem. And I, I see everybody else doing it now. They do need to do that. I, I think they did it on their uh, really high-end high, uh, high -end pro controller, but they really need to do it on these Joy-Cons. I think these would probably be close to my favorite if they had that. I love the way these feel. I love the way they look. I, I do like the MOBA pads slightly better because I like the clicky buttons. I'm still waiting on my HDs to come, the all-white ones. Really, really excited to get those. But these are these are great. These are really, really nice Joy-Cons. Depending on when you're watching this video, I don't think they're actually available yet. If they are, they may have just put them up, but I will link them down below if I can find an Amazon link. I'll do that. I'll definitely link the website. I want to thank uh, Binbok for sending these over for me to check out a little bit early. I really, really like them. But that is going to do it for this one, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching this video. Please leave a like. Make sure you are subscribed. See you in the next one.